If we count and compare the various numbers of the categories of recombinant phenotypes in the F2 generation, we can use this to actually map the chromosome and measure the distances between genes. For example, here, if the A gene were to be separated from the B and C genes, that could only occur if the crossover event which separates the genes occurs in this indicated region here in green. And so therefore, crossing over can separate A from the B and C genes, but only if the crossover event occurs in this region. Crossing over could also separate the C alleles from the other two alleles in a linkage group. Because B is very close to C on the chromosome, the only way that C could be separated from B and A is if the crossover event occurred by chance in the narrow area between the B and C genes. While this can happen, it is less likely that a crossover event will occur in a small space than it is that a crossover event would occur uh, somewhere in the middle of a larger space. So it is more likely that the A gene gets separated from the other two because it is more distant from them. It is less likely that C is found by itself separated from B because of the proximity of these two genes. As you can see in this series of three genes, one of the genes, the B gene, is in the middle. We can identify which gene in this sequence is the middle gene by observing which mutant phenotypes are the rarest in our group. It is difficult for the mutant B phenotype to be alone, separated from the A and C. The reason for this is because one cut alone cannot move the B gene away from the other two. One requires two separate cuts, two separate crossover events, before this B section in the middle can be separated from the genes at either end. And so therefore, the likelihood that uh, two crossovers occur is less than the likelihood of just one. And so we will uh, observe mutants with only the B mutant phenotype, less than mutants with the A uh, or the C. And we will notice then the opposite, where uh, mutant flies have both the A and C mutant phenotypes, but are missing the B mutant phenotype. That will also be a rare condition. Because it requires two separate crossover events to create uh, this phenotype, the uh, flies where this occurs uh, are known as the double crossovers because two separate crossover events were needed uh, for the, these alleles to be separated from their linkage groups.